Hi, I'm Sinta. Hello, Sinta. And what do you want? Um, Long hair with curls. Yes, please. Okay. Um, short, obviously. Yeah. Pixie. Uh, feminine. Yeah. Yeah, pixie feminine. And strong. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you want. That's what I want. Okay, can you turn so they can see your hair now? Yep. And I asked you for a model because I could do a lot of techniques in your hair. So it's very fun to play with your hair. Yeah. That's why. Good. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello friends on YouTube, I ask her for modeling for me because uh, she normally comes to my salon and we are friends for a, a long, 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 yeah. long time. I think uh, it started around uh, 1988, uh, something around there. Yeah. Uh, my first salon and she was already there. And yeah, then you build up a friendship for a long time. She loves uh, extreme colors, so I gave her extreme cape. <laughs> This is of course to protect her hair, but I asked her also because it's so much fun to work with her hair. She has so funny hair, she can play a lot with it, a lot of techniques. So I'm going to play with her hair and I'll put the total session on YouTube. So I don't make any uh, small cuts in it, just pure what I do with her hair. As I normally do, I first wet the hair because I want to get a feeling with the hair. She washed it herself, and I love it because then the hair is back in the normal shapes, and especially when you want to create a feminine, short, and playable hairstyle, you have to know what the shapes are. In her case, I normally take not that much of, of the length, I just put in the slice techniques because it's so lovely to play with the shapes of a skull, the waves in her hair, so that's what I like the most about it. Working with her and her personality suits very well to mine. <laughs> so I put on my glasses. Oh, you're there. Hello. Hello. I'm your model for today. That's also a video I made. Uh, comb the hairs, lay them in the line of uh, where I'm going to. And I want to work in the opposite line, so I take uh, my most wonderful Keone scissor to work with. It's a very fine tool. It's also ultra sharp, but it's also very lovely and sensitive because the more you put into it, the more character the hairstyle gets. So I mostly go into the opposite lines. So now we know she wants a feminine hairstyle, so she gets a feminine hairstyle. I can also put some parts of this video in slow motion. So you can see better what I'm doing. But I love slice cutting. This is a way of cutting. You close your scissor while you cut and while you slice. Because otherwise you could pull somebody out of the chair. <laughs> and that's not what I want. I want to get a good feeling with slicing. And slicing is a wonderful thing to do because it's creating like, uh, yeah, make, making a statue or something like that gives the same feeling. Just taking off what you need to take off, not more than that. Get into the lines. And mostly in the opposite lines, because then you have the techniques in the, in the under lines. And you have the freedom to move the hairs around. Right. Take a brush to take away the small hairs. Stuck a bit on the face. It's still there. <laughs> still there? <laughs> yeah. In your eyes? Yes. Yeah, go on. Okay. Creating the length of the front. Again, slice pattern. And she drives bicycles so. She lost her short hair. Yeah, very, easy. Yeah, very easy to remain yeah. in a good style. Turn a bit so we can see the sides uh, slicing. Mm -hmm. Just jump in, small effects. Just take away very small parts. 
created a wonderful softness into this hairstyle. As feminine as I can. On short hair. Because when I would take a clipper for this, it would be very hard in lines. Then I lay the hairs straight down, go from the opposite line, go up to the point where the ears connect to the chin line. Lay them to the front again. And clean this wonderful line. So you see I have an ultra soft line. Adjusting the line of slicing. So I look at it now it's getting my hold on what I'm going to do. The nice thing is when uh, you explain all the things you do normally. We just we cut. Just, yeah, we and just we talk cut and talk and yeah. Yeah, yeah. enjoying each other because yeah. it's very always fun to have each other around. For me it is, but also for her I'm certain yeah. of that. <laughs> so now we're going to play like uh, fireworks. Just play with the lines. And when the hair is thick, I go deeper in and give it that deep slice techniques. And shape it. I'm, I move and I, I show you that. So when I go in, I twist my scissor. So I know that I have in the underlines the movement to that side. Because her hair wants to get this side, but I want it to go that side because she wears it like this. So I go in and then I slice into the line so I get that feeling to and a movement to the other side. I just want the hair to do this. <laughs> it's my hair now. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> I have hair. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad you have it and I'm not. I love to be bold. Bold on a man is beautiful. But still I sometimes dream about having girls. <laughs> you do? So I, I wear sometimes wigs. I will make a video with a wig in. <laughs> no. Yeah, I will. Maybe I, I once go to be the, the barber that uh, people like to play the show to be barber. With a nighty voice in it and everything. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Do you want me to turn that? Yeah, a bit, a bit. Okay. Coming to the other side. First, I take away a bit of the weight, so I take the hairs back, go in on the lines, again set some ultra small fine techniques in the underlines just to reduce a bit of the weight. And then I do the same as on the other side, adjust the lines by small slice techniques. Adjust the length by going in. And just play with the hairs. It's very fun to do. Normally you don't think about it, but yes, you just do it because it's part of my nature as a hairdresser. And don't have to be perfect because you use slice techniques. So adopt the lines of the person that's beneath this technique you use. Don't be afraid to, to get out of the lines. In Mother Nature there's nothing similar to each other. Even sand is different. Then put the hairs down, get in from the side. Normally I stand in front of her, of course. But now you want to see what I do, so I do this on the side. Lay the hairs to the front again. Go in. Create a softness into the line. Adjust the line a bit. Take away a bit of the length. On the ear, pull the ear down. Leave the hairs laying in the rounding. So don't force anything, I want a natural line. So the hairs 
leap, go down in a soft line. So in the line of falling, I create the roundness around the ear. And you can see there's a slice uh, system because the hair slips away and that I need because a good slicing system is not really a cutting system, it's more a tool to slice with. So it's like a knife. You need two knives to get a line in it. Same on this side. The it has down in a natural line, go in and give it that wonderful rounding. Not too short on the ears. Don't be afraid to pull on the ear. You'd never pull it off. Otherwise, we in the early days on school, we wouldn't have ears anymore. Our teachers pulled a lot on my ears. Did you cut each other? No. Oh. No, I mean at the base school. Oh. We had a nun. She was very lovely to God and Jesus, but not oh, to yeah. us. Mm -hmm. I know the kind. She was a bitch. Okay, coming to the crown area. Now the crown area you see is an open space in our hair with a lot of volume on this line. The volume I already did on this line, so up to the upper levels where I put the slice techniques with the rounding in. But I have to be aware that I need also some hair on the crown. So what I do is I go up slicing and Believe me, I always do this in this tempo because I love to, <laughs> to have the power. It's not as good for my uh, blood vessels because I use a lot of adrenaline and when you get older you get stiff, <laughs> stiff things. I don't know how to say it. Veins. Oh, you get stiff veins and it's not as good for your heart as it should, but I rather love, live life fast and furious than like slow, uh, slow motion thing. I love life in the limit, so I think my heart has to get used to the idea that I work very fast. And a lot. Yeah. See how wonderful playable that will be. Just adopting the lines. And here are lovely the sound is of this scissor. Yeah, me too. And sometimes you think the hair is a bit thin, but that's not true. You have so much lighting here around. I show you in this video the lighting, so you know when the skin has a light color and the hair is a bit darker, you can see the skin through this, but normally you cannot see the skin. Because normal light is not what I have. I'm like a football stadium. So much light do I have. I'll show you that by turning around in the back of the video. Coming in the other lines, be aware of the angle where you hold your scissor in. So because you have the skull bone that you have to take care of and not put your scissor in. So I lean a bit on the shoulders with one uh, finger just to have a guide. Then I go back, laying the hairs down, and from the skull bone, I just slice out wonderful soft lines. And always be aware of turnings of the hair, hair falls, and lines. And I know it looks easy, but you have to practice it a lot before you can do this. But most things that, that look easy are yeah, trained a lot. You have to work on it before it looks easy. Do you prefer cutting short hair? Or yes, or more yes. Long hair? No, short. Because I then can see the shapes much, much better than from the skull, from the ears, from the chin lines. And I love the shapes of a woman with short hair. It's, more, I think it's more sexy than long hair. Because when a woman has short hair, I always look first at the woman and then at the short hair. And when I have long hair, I mostly see first long hair and how beautiful that is.
because long hair is sexy and beautiful. But I prefer the, women, the woman who is beneath the hairs, mm -hmm. and that I can see when the hair is more pure. I don't like bald hair on women. The ultra short I like, mm -hmm. uh, even a millimeter or two, but uh, not bald because no, I think it's still too uh, related to cancer and uh, illness. Oh. So that's and I have as a hairdresser a lot of that people in my chair, and they all always cry because they lose their hairs. Yeah, and I always explain them how beautiful they are without hair, and I, yeah, I, I arrange a wig and all the things around it. But to lose hair as a woman, it's very hard. Mm. Did you find it hard to lose your hair? No, no. I did not. I loved it. <laughs> not in the beginning, of course, because I had the lovely blonde yeah, curly hair. Yeah, I remember that. Well. I can always put a wig on. Now the only thing I'm going to do now is to first, before I start on the neckline, I correct the lines a bit. So just take away the longer parts that left over because slicing is not a perfect line to cut. I don't need to be perfect, but you have to correct the line because the hair slipped through your scissor and then you have to correct the lines. But you can also adjust the line a bit. And only take off the parts that are still too long. It's a grappig. Je zomerkleur is een beetje meer een bruine kleurtje. Ja. Het is niet meer zo anthracite. Nee. Dat vind ik ook wel een Talking about the color, her color was more uh, deep grey with light grey, but in some time the, the golden tones are coming up again because we just have summer. Now it's autumn at the beginning, but still good weather for Dutch <laughs> things. Yeah. We have good weather, too good, I think. I love bad weather. I love the roughness of it. And autumn is the beauty of life. Because then you can see the colors that life gives it. So I love autumn on people and on nature. <laughs> so I'm good here. Yeah. <laughs> Now, for the underlines in the neck, I take a normal Kiona scissor. Lifting up. And again, be aware of the roundings and the shapes because you have to go in the opposite lines to get a soft line. Also with this scissor that I can slice, it's a cobalt, but I prefer the other scissor to slice with. And when you have uh, the person who brings you the scissors or you go to your shop, just ask for a slicing scissor. It makes a hell of a difference when you cut hair with it. And let my go guide my scissor. I think comb is a wonderful tool to work with. And you use it like you're making music. Hold the neckline nice, soft. Take away only the parts that stick out. And when I'm ready, I'm going to wash your hair. And I'm 
going to look if I can correct the color a bit, but just with a conditioner uh, based product, not with a, a chemical product. There's a brand, it's called Glint, and it has wonderful gray colors in conditioner. Because this system doesn't slip, I can always correct the line a bit with it. Now you see how wonderful the neckline will be. See me do it this side, pull the ear down, set the hairs up, push on the hair so put in, push on them, go in. And even to make a video like this, you have to practice because now I'm sitting on a place uh, where I not normally never sit. I would sit uh, beside her ear where you look now. But I practice a lot and so that's why I can also cut around the corner. <laughs> but I love it. Everywhere a shape is nice, I love to watch. When I work in a free line like this, a soft line, I kept my pink free from the scissor. When I work on hard lines, I put the pink on the scissor because then uh, my scissor is more stable and I love to have that instability in the scissor to be creative. So that's why I take my pink off. Then the scissor is more bendable and more uh, flexible in the working. Neckline. This side is a bit different than the other side, so I push on the small hairs. I can see she cleans also her own neckline. <laughs> I hate it when that grows. Yeah. yeah. Most people do with short hair. Yeah. I cannot take a bit of the skin off <laughs> to use some hair. That's more in your professional <laughs> lines here too. Take a bit of skin off. I think we need it for a sample. <laughs> Because this scissor doesn't slip, I go over the line once again. And again, you see, by practicing, you can get in a lot of strange angles, but there you have to practice a lot. So now I only have to clean up the lines and shave out the lines, and then I can wash your hair and then I style it for you. All the hairs that stick out on the line where I don't need them, even the woolly hairs, because these small hairs are woolly hairs, you don't need them. They never will be real hairs, so don't let them grow. So just take them away. I know she lost this shape, I love it also because I created it. Ah, I'm more like a god. No, I'm not. <laughs> like god. Then the world would look much, much nicer. And I think when I were, were a god, I would be feminine. You would? Yeah, I would be a woman. With nice soft breast, <laughs> wonderful lips, <laughs> an ultra soft tone where you always could feel me like a mother. I would also talk to you, I would never hide like God does. Would you be young or old? No, or? it doesn't matter. I would be like... Uh, Ageless. Yeah. yeah. You have to, work, to have, get the wisdom, so you have to be a little bit old to get the notice of what's life and what's going on in life. So that's why I love autumn, because when you're in the autumn of your life, you are much, much nicer and beautiful as young people are, because they're not just living, we think about living. 
So the wisdom comes with years, but there's always people who are young and also have the wisdom, but they have old souls, I think. And you need them. And what I also like about the world is that we always go for young people. And we forget there are more old people than young people in the world. So also on YouTube you see a lot of blah 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 and young people and when you have young models you can get every color on them, get them crazy because they love everything and they always go for the name of a hairdress or a fashion person, so mm. they do whatever they like. Then I prefer uh, persons with their own character, so I know <laughs> I have to listen to them also. And that's why I'm not God. <laughs> <laughs> so for so far cutting, now we'll be back, we're going to wash your hair and then uh, put the toner conditioner on so it gets more into the, the grey colors because that's more beautiful. Then I'll also show you washing during the sink. I just I had. Nick, take nice me medium warm water. Take a silver shampoo. That's the best way to reduce uh, the golden lines into a color of hair. Now the nice thing on short hair is you don't need that much shampoo because I only need to drop. But on a video I mostly take a bit more because I love to get the violet colors also on the hair. So how long does that stay the, after one shampoo? The the, 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 the silver color, shampoo. The, yeah. Or the, the what you get after it. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly depends on how much your, uh, your skin, the toughness and the uh, acid of your skin. Oh, uh, okay. Me, because the acid of the skin breaks also down colors. I find it mostly a difficult word because it's so different than our word for it. Yeah. <laughs> but to show you how wonderful this silver shampoo is, and how much it works, you see this on my hands now. And this comes because I forgot to protect them this morning. Otherwise I would protect them with a special cream of glint. They have a special cream for the hands. Now you saw also that she washed her own hair, so the hair is totally clean. Now take from Mangala, they have silver toners. I take a drop and this will give certainly more power to her hair, doesn't influence the natural colors. And also on this color you get normally clubs, but I forgot them. <laughs> so you have blue, grey, yeah, no, I, I had violet color. Hands and I have a bit grey hands, <laughs> but I have also products to get it off. Take a comb and just let the product work into the hairs a bit. You see that the anthracite colors. Don't wash it no, after, this, well, you or after, after 20, wash minutes. It, yeah, after okay. 20 minutes. 
now it only takes about a minute or two, three. So we wait a bit. Mm -hmm. Can go for a cup of tea, but it's a bit hard <laughs> to do. What do you want after this? Coffee. Tea or coffee. Coffee. That's so our machine. I say good. Hij is speciaal op natuurkleuren zijn deze kleuren echt zo prachtig. Ik ben heel benieuwd. Ja, het is maar een heel klein effect, maar het is het geeft wel een grote uitkomst. Ja. Nou, I only let it in for uh, I think uh, two or three minutes, not more than that. But you can already see the grey effect of it. And the hair feels wonderful after conditioner with this. Ja. Yeah. Dan? Mag ik daar weer gaan zitten? Ik had het idee, er is niks meer over om mijn haar, maar is het hartstikke veel. Ja, zeker. <laughs> nee, zo ben ik niet dat ik dat doe, dat er niks meer op staat. Now this is the products I just used. They are Mangala and there are uh, three shades of grey. I can only need to hold two, but there is also one in between. So this is the darkest color. Then you have uh, moon and you have snow. Snow is the lightest. This is wonderful for persons with natural blonde hair and also with persons who have bleached hair because you get ultra light white blonde hair. But of course they have also different colors because they have also shades and trendy shades. Uh, so you can do very crazy stuff with it and just hold the condition of your hair. And that's the most important thing, condition of the hair. What leuk. From Lakme I use a shade to blow dry hair. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Always does. Lakme comes from Barcelona and they test all the products on uh, men and women that live near to the sea. So the influence of the sea and the salt water is, and the sun is always maximum. So the best products come from Spain and Italy. And when you have sensitive pigs, especially for uh, ultra light skins, I think L'Oreal has also wonderful products because then trans people live also a bit under the sun but protect their skin a lot. So they have and a white influence, so their, their hair is totally different than those who live in the Mediterranean because they are more influence of Africa. So I just watch what the best is for you. As long as it is a professional brand, it's always the best for your hair because they have to have they have rules and they make uh, make rules for each other what they want in a product or not and it's always a professional product so it's always the best for your hand for so far blow drying now of course in short hair you can use a lot of products you can use a clay you can use everything you want it depends on what the customer wants. When you use the clay, you can rebuild and restyle it because you wet your hands and then you restyle the hair. You can also take a powder because nowadays it's a very light product. Powders into your hair. You see it a lot on men's hairstyles, not as much on women. I prefer always to have a bit shine in the hair. So I use mostly a wax. And then for in short hair, for me, the most wonderful product is uh, from Goldwell from Creative Structures and it's uh, a gel wax and I think it is that wonderful because every morning you put a small amount on your hands and you can play the whole day with your hair and it doesn't grease the hair so that's what I like about this product and it gives a wonderful shine to the hairs and to my violet hands <laughs> Now I want to bring out every structure I brought into the hairs. So I want to 
see the length and difference in length into this hairstyle. So I'll just play a bit with the hairs so you can see what's going on nearby. So it's very wonderful to play with the hairs. Just use the structure of the hair and get into it because it doesn't matter how the hair fits. It's just the emotion you have with it. You can also get it into a very boyish hairstyle because there you lay it just nice flat to the sides. And if you want a feminine touch in it, just to set out the back because then you have a playable effect on the back. So you have on the front that boyish look. While you have on the back, you have that wonderful playable effect. So that's what I like about gel wax. I can do everything with it and it holds the structure and the condition of the hair in a wonderful condition. And this is a hairstyle for persons who love to go through the hands with mm -hmm. the, through the hairs. Yeah. It's wonderful. So I thank you for watching. I thank her for being my model. Until next time. Bye bye. Je mag nog een rondje draaien. Nou, dan kun je echt wel zien de verschil van de kleur. Ja? Ja. Nee. Speel eens met je haar. Kijk eens in de... Pak maar deze eventjes. Ik kan... Uh... Ik vind het altijd wel leuk als het zo zit en dan ja. inderdaad... Ja, dat vind ik ook leuk. Dit vind ik wel leuk. She, she, I, I, told, I asked her to play with her hair so, like she, how she wants it. So you see what she does with her hair. Yeah. I think it's quite nice when she's so up and down. Yeah, with the peaky. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sinta. Hello, Sinta. And what do you want? Um, Long hair with curls. Yes, please. Okay. Um, short, obviously. Yeah. Pixie. Uh, feminine. Yeah. Yeah, pixie feminine. And strong. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you want. That's what I want. Okay, can you turn so they can see your hair now? Yep. Yeah. And I asked you for a model because I could do a lot of techniques in your hair. So it's very fun to play with your hair. Yeah. That's why. Good. Thank you very much. Okay.